Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the home screen tricks on the Techno Spark 20 Pro. Okay, uh, so first, uh, all we need to do to get access into the most interesting features, uh, I would say, mm, in that way, we need to hold simply on the free space on our uh, home screen. Now we have access to open up the wallpapers, create a widgets, and the high theme and the desktop settings. Maybe let's begin with the widgets, uh, because when it comes to the wallpapers, there are no uh, hidden features or that kind of stuff. Uh, but some uh, of you might didn't know about how to create a widget. So um, we can also uh, create a um, suggestion uh, folder in that way. We can click on add to desktop. And here we have uh, a suggestion of our apps. We can also add the schedule, for example, for our day and add the DOS. And now to save it, uh, click next to it, and now we have access to our uh, suggestions and that kind of stuff. And into those apps that we have just uh, added. Okay, so here they are. And now we have the list of uh, suggested apps. Now let's hold again. Let's create another widget. Mm, now let's click on the system tools. Uh, and for example, we have the uh, A to Z. We have the quick accelerate, recorder app, digital clock, weather app. Again, the weather actually have the two others. So let's select that one, for example, and let's click on add. Uh, and now we have this uh, weather widget. Simply click on tap, click on agree, click on uh, allow. Okay, 25 degrees, and now, yeah, uh, now we have the information about the weather on our home screen. Let's click on once again, let's click on widget one last time, uh, and here we have the uh, list uh, of all apps uh, of which we can create a widget. So let's say we'll create a widget of, um, I don't know, YouTube, for example. In here you can take a look how it looks like, click on add, and now... It is on our home screen. When we click on that, the YouTube automatically uh, launches. Okay, now let's hold once again. And now let's click on the desktop settings. Uh, when it, under the general settings, we can change the appearance. And we can change the icon size, for example. Uh, so currently it's on the middle position. We can uh, make them uh, smaller or make them bigger. So now they're on 120. Let's take a look. They are pretty uh, big, as you can see. Now let's try to make them uh, uh, smaller. So again, desktop settings, uh, appearance, icon size. Now we ha now it's uh, on the level of 80%, and they are pretty small, as you can see. Uh, okay. So that's when it comes to the icon size. Uh, unfortunately, I need to open it up. Uh, uh, all the way through because uh, I cannot save it in recent apps, this uh, mode, but no matter. We can also change the page turn effect. Uh, currently it's on the classic mode, but we can select the normal, cube, the windmill, crossfade and the zoom. So let's select, uh, we uh, let's say we select the cube and now you can, you can see the uh, difference between the uh, scrolling and the animation of it. So that's uh, currently we have the cube. Uh, let me show you the difference, for example, let's select the other one uh, for now. Uh, so from the cube, let's go into the crossfade, for example. And we have the difference, as you can see. So that's another thing that we can adjust of our home screen. Uh, we can also change the desktop grid, change the icons, columns with a... Uh, with a folder, it can be 3 to 4 or 4 on 4. Same thing with the desktop grid, mm, it can be 4 on 6 uh, or 5 on 6. Uh, we can change the text color, it can be white, black, or the custom. So uh, we can also change it. Now let's say we'll select the black, mm, and as you can see, the text. Uh, has changed into a black color. Uh, it's barely seeable right now. Uh, now let's go into the, uh, not the gestures yet, but into the appearance. 
Mm, and we can also change the scrolling uh, direction of AZ. It can be vertical or horizontal. That's another thing that we can uh, change. So let's select the horizontal, for example. So now we don't scroll to the downside, we scroll uh, left to right. That's the difference. Uh, okay, let's uh, open up the settings. Let's change the appearance, uh, I mean the text color into the auto uh, for now. And now let's go into the gestures. So we have slide up on launcher to open all apps, slide down on launcher for quick research, slide up with two fingers to access hidden apps. Let me show you how it works. So let's slide up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Mm, not in here, but maybe I need to open it up in the app drawer. I didn't check that. Okay, uh, I think it's also my because of that that I don't have any hidden apps. Mm, so maybe that's why it doesn't want to work. Okay, maybe let's slide down with two fingers and now it should enable the voice research. Weird stuff, it doesn't want to work. Okay, but maybe let's try to um, pinch out with two fingers. Uh, let's say, um, let's get action for that Intel Start app and let's start the Chrome. And maybe it will work. So we need to pinch out and the Chrome should appear. Okay, now it worked. Uh, so you just just need to uh, try um, sometimes a few times uh, and then it will work so uh, again I'll just show you we need to pinch and the Google Chrome appeared just like we have uh, said maybe let's try something else right now um, desktop settings uh, gestures uh, maybe pinch in the launcher should appear so let's try Okay, so when we pinch in, the launcher appears. I mean that menu, and that menu, uh, it's the uh, launcher. So I perform that move, boom, the launcher appeared. And uh, now let's try something else also. Desktop settings, gestures. Mm. Let's try maybe to get action and select action for the clockwise rotate with two fingers. Uh, let's maybe again start an app and let's say the YouTube for example okay so when I'll perform that kind of move oh, okay you can see beautifully and that this mode works uh, in the correct way so the app mm, actually launched Okay, so I'll leave it to you to play with those gestures. We can adjust basically uh, almost everything for your uh, preferences. Now let's click on others. We can uh, lock the layout, for example, and we can change uh, those uh, features right in here. We can basically turn them on or turn them off. So for example, the freezer, we can turn it on. We have also the zero screen. We can change those uh, settings also. Mm, all right. Mm, now under the feature settings, we can click on the search and in here uh, currently we have the search page display we have the recent apps we can turn them off or turn them on it's up to us and also we have the search scope we have in here the contacts apps audio settings and the theme and uh, we can turn them off or turn them on and adjust them into our own preferences when it comes to the hidden apps that are below and uh, we need to draw our pattern to uh, get access to them uh, and in here we can also uh, find them and add them when we click right in here and when we click on the plus button we can add some apps into the hidden apps folder uh, and only here we will be able to uh, get access to them mm, let me show you that uh, in here yeah slide up with two fingers and then hidden apps should appear maybe I did something wrong but now maybe it will work okay wait wait Uh, 
Okay, this hidden feature doesn't want to work. I don't know why. But mm, you can always uh, change those uh, those presets for the shortcut. All right, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.